there are people who used to live not too long ago, they used to live a desert life. They used to be Bedouins, shepherds, lived under the sun. Their, their castle was a tent. And then they came into wealth. And when they come into wealth, they become like, they make Fir'aun look humble, man. They have this, like, God complex. Like, I met somebody, amazing, he met someone in the Muslim world, very wealthy man, just ran into him at the airport. He just recognized me. And I like you too? I was like, yeah. We start talking. And I was on my flight back to America, and he asked me where I'm from. I said, I'm from America. And he's, oh, those guys, they're our servants. What? Excuse me? And he explained himself to me. He said, you know, they make our cars, they make our phones, they make our watches. Look, American watch. They serve us. Inna lillahi wa inna ilayhi rajiun. The delusion that a person, this is ilha. Like, how deluded can you become? How distracted can you become? That this is all your life amounts to now. There is such a thing as bounty. You know, even in the Quran, Allah Azza wa Jalla talked about Allahu. One of the most interesting ayat on the subject is in Surah Luqman. Allah Azza wa Jalla says, "Wa min al nasi man yashtari lahu al hadithi li yudilla an sabil Allah." Very interesting ayat. He says, among people, there's somebody who purchases distraction, distracting kind of speech to misguide from Allah's path. It's a complicated statement. First of all, he purchases distracting kinds of speech, and he why does he purchase it to misguide from Allah's path? Now, what does this all mean? Ibn Abbas radiallahu ta'ala anhuma interpreted that ayah as music. Okay, so he said distracting speech is what? Music. And some have looked at that and said that as a result music is haram, etc. Et I'm not here to give you a fatwa, but I do want to tell you the context of that statement of Ibn Abbas radiallahu ta'ala anhuma. Quran used to be recited. People used to get affected by the Quran. The Quraysh could not come up with any alternative. So they came up with a strategy. لا تسمعوا لهذا القرآن وألغوا فيه لعلكم تغلبون. Don't listen to this Quran. Create distraction when it's being recited, so you can win, so you can dominate. So they paid women to sing and do like a in the middle of the street concert. So anybody who was listening to the Quran say, hey, there's a concert happening, and they just go there and start listening to the song. The Quran comments on this entire story and says, among people. There is someone who purchases distracting speech so they can misguide from Allah's path. Not so they can be misguided, so they can misguide others from Allah's path. This is the next step of lahu. You know, you and I are consumers of it. You and I are, you know, we can become addicts to like Netflix or online TV shows or, you know, video games or whatever it is, mobile apps, social media, comments, likes, dislikes. You know, some people spend all their time not watching a video, but the comments, that's all they'll do. But you know, you're the, you're the consumer. But there are those who created this to keep you busy. They keep you busy. I don't want to go too long on this subject, but I do want to say one thing that is close to my heart. That, that hurts me a lot. You know, Fir'aun was very afraid of Banu Israel. People don't know that. Quran says that he was actually afraid. You know, وَنُرِيَ Fir'aun وَهَمَان وَجُنُودَهُمَا مَا كَانُوا يَحْذَرُونَ they used to be afraid. Why? Because they had the Banu Israel were oppressed. They were treated like slaves. They were beat up, tortured. If you have enough young men who see their mother being pushed, their sister being harassed, and they're treated like garbage, and there's enough of them, they're gonna eventually have a revolution. He was afraid of a revolution. So he used to kill the baby boys every other year. Or every few, every often when there's too many baby boys, he would kill them. Why? Because you cannot have too many young men. Because if you have too many young men, they'll have a lot of ghira, self-respect. They might rise and there might be a revolution. He was afraid of that. He needed to keep the population under control. Today, if Firaun was alive today, he wouldn't have to kill any babies. He'd just hand them an iPad, man. They'll never become men. Don't have to worry about it. They'll be 25 years old. <laughs> That's all they'll be doing. <laughs> They're not going to know anything about justice or quality or making their society a better place or contribution or thinking about you know how Allah has given them talents that are supposed to be used for something greater than themselves they're never going to think about that stuff they're just going to be lost in their PlayStation 4 and the next trophy they win <laughs>